This channel has grown to over 610 subscribers with over 4,300 videos available. And we couldn't have done that without your support. And I want to thank each and every one of you for making that happen. Hope you'll continue to enjoy all the excitement here at our WL. Many thanks again, Jack McLeod, CEO, Ringside Wrestling League. Well said, Johnny. Hi, folks. We ain't got a lot of time, so let's get rolling. Up first, in our opening contest, it's gonna be No Way Jose against the One Man Riot Squad, Dick the Bulldog Brower. He put that man against Brower in his third match, and not even T-Dog to play Mickey in his corner. Are you deliberately punishing Jose so he'll quit? He just now lost at Rage to Dr. Zodiac, and now you're throwing him to that anarm homicidal maniac? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, weighing in at 245 pounds. No way, Jose! Hey, not for nothing, Tex, but maybe you should have had Tomasio join him out there for this one. You know, just like moral support. Guys, let's start with T Dog's got a match tonight, so he's getting ready for that. Secondly, No Way Jose is a professional wrestler, not a six month old infant sitting in a playpen with a diaper full of duty. He's gonna do just fine. He's one and one. This is his third match. Yes, it's tough, and he's gonna make out just fine. I'm not worried about him win or lose. Well, no pool. This talented young man has proven that yes, win or lose, he's way capable inside the squared circle. But also no pool. Bulldog Brower is gonna take him to task for sure. Yes, and as long as he takes Brower to task right back, it's gonna be a hell of a good show. I'll cast a vote for him winning. Sure. Makes me think of that Weird Al Yankovic original. That boy could dance. They dim the lights, so now we don't have to see so much of Brower's ham of an ugly head. Thing looks like a growth on no neck. And his opponent, from Dover, Delaware, weighing in at 285 pounds, Bulldog Brown. The one-man riot squad, always a threat to maybe choke out an opponent at best, and at worst, brain the poor guy with a steel chair. While I understand the plateau of challenged techs, this still just seems a touch cruel to me somehow. <laughs> you guys just don't get it. I'm banking on Brower, bringing out the best in Jose here. Oh yeah, he's gonna get roughed up, that's for sure. But I think he's gonna give back just as good as he gets. It's his third match, and he just dropped his second. But as we've learned around here, never take a win or loss for granted. Jose will have the speed advantage all over Brower. And as long as he stays on the offensive, doesn't give Brower an opening, he could very easily score a three count pin. Sounds great, but if Brower catches even the smallest slip up, the veteran could rip him up into little shredded Jose's. I'm gonna go based on what I've seen no way Jose do in his previous matches and say, yes, I think he can upset Brower, but who boy, get a look at that wing nut, will you? This is gonna be a rough ride. Well, yeah, maybe, but it's gonna be a really good match, too. Uh-huh. Here we go. First match of the night here on Snarl. Should be a beauty. Bell rings, here we go. Jose, look at this, winds it up with a little pop out of the sailor action and digs Brower down to one knee right away. Follows it up with an elbow, puts Brower on the roast. Brower counters with a hard right. Uh-uh, walk right into Jose's little trap right there. Follows it up with an overhand right, takes Brower down to the canvas again. No way, Jose. Looking pretty impressive right from go here. Jose, a stomp to the belly. Brower, still won't 
look at this. He's getting this crowd here in Hershey worked up, man. Oh, oh, all right. Jose continuing to keep Brower down. Keep him off his feet. Uh-huh, here we go. Brower counters with an elbow, and he gets back to his tootsies, and whoa-hoo! Close line and right out onto the floor. Goes Jose and Brower up there on the top rope, threatening doom. As Jose gets back to his feet, and here we go. Oh, man, he missed! Huh, counters with an elbow. Jose counters with a nice left. Uh-huh, Brower counters. Cheap shots him and takes himself back inside the ring. Look at this right here. Jose hacks him off the top rope from the outside. Oh, Brower. A little bit surprised here. Up over Jose's shoulders. Hangs him off the rope again, huh? Well, now. My goodness. Jose, home for the cover. One. Just the one. Solomon Te Uno. This is with the knee. Brower, back to his feet. Oh, this is with the headbutt. Jose gets caught up. Brower whips him to the corner, but Jose quickly out of the corner. Whips Brower to the far corner. Close lines him and collapses him. Oh. Yeah, Jose not doing too bad for himself here. Jose off the ropes with like this. A little salsa dance right there to follow up with the leg drop. Oh man, I think the fans are feeling Jose here, man. Nice. Brower in a bit of a situation here. Not used to seeing him abused. Huh. Sure he's not used to being abused. Vertical suplex from No Way Jose. Uh -uh. Sweep the leg Cobra Kai here from uh, Bulldog Brower. Brower gathering Jose up. Escorts him to the corner. Oh, here we go. Ten count to the turnbuckle. Head into the buckle. Over and over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, man. Brower, going for the cover one, and only a one. Mm -mm. All right, well, it's a turn for Jose here. Oh, quick count. Oh, man, Fireman's carry from Brower. Jose trying to turn things back around here, misses with the double axe handle. That's Brower up on the shoulders again. That's a heavy guy to do that with. Whoa, that was nice right there. Huh, cover, hooks the leg, one. Oh, no, man, just one. Almost a nine, not even almost a one. Hmm. Jose rounds him up again. Oh, uh -huh. Brower counters with a knee to the face. Hmm. Takes him down to the canvas, but uh, Jose pushes him off. Oh, connected with a nice jumping clothesline. Hmm. Now, this young man from Santa Domingo. Really starting to impress the heck out of me here. Huh. This third out, and he ain't doing too bad for himself here. This is what I'm talking about. Brower counters him with a shoulder tackle, and oh, he's mad. Uh -uh. Jose might have a little bit of a problem here. Brower goes into submission, but uh, too close to the rope, so that's not happening. Brower rounds him up. Oh, here we go. Bulldog Brower starting to fire up here. Back body drop for Jose. Brower urging him on here. And a spine buster from the Bulldog. Brower. Gathers Jose up. Uh oh, uh, no, this ain't good here. Uh, he's gonna try and choke Jose out. Huh, referee watching this one. Making sure it don't turn into a choke. That's actually a nerve hold. Jose, with a hard shot to the gut, breaks that party up. Whips Brower into the ropes, head on collision, kick to the gut. Oh, oh, man, nice jumping forearm. Another jumping forearm, and here we go. Brower swings and misses. And oh, spine buster of his own, and oh wow, yeah, the crowd's liking Jose here. Charges, misses with the knee. Brower gets countered again, another hard forearm. Look at this from behind here. One arm slammed. Jose covers. One, two, oh, we got a two. Whole bunch of ones, and now we got a two. Hmm. Brower, getting to his feet, and Jose's waiting for him. Ready to go here. Uh-oh, was trying for something, but Brower counters with an elbow, and oh, man just tackled him down. Head first. Bulldog gets countered. Oh, look at this nice move from Jose here. And, uh, uh, -uh Brower sweeping the leg again. Pulls up his trunks. Thank you very much, Bulldog. Rounds up Jose. Oh, Jose counters him. And, oh, man, there we go again. That beautiful flip right there. Oh, rounds a knee right into Brower's head. And he, oh, yeah, he's bleeding. Jose gets countered by the Bulldog, kick to the midsection. Up on and into a loose this press, follows it up with a series of hard rights. Brower gathers up Jose. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's 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 been stuck good. Here we go. In the power bomb position. Goes for the pin here. One. Two. Ooh. Oh, it turned it into a turned it into a half crab here. And Jose oh, sweeps the leg and counters it and escapes the hold. The damage might already be done. Pulls him over and goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, wow. He, he, he really did get that shoulder up. Mm, emphasized it. Sweeps the leg again, does Jose. Flower counters with a back body drop. Man, this one's gotten wild. Oh, follows it up with a very measured elbow to the head. Now Bulldog Flower. I'm behind with that rear headlock. Oh, man. Oh, this ain't good, Jose. Going, yep, he's getting to one. He's got on one knee. He's going to find his way out here. A couple of hard elbows to the midsection. That breaks that party up. And here we go again from behind with that one-arm slam. Jose covers. One, two, three, and it is all over. No way Jose wins this one by pinfall. Here is your winner. No way Jose. Well, Tex to me like this young man delivered against your faith in him. Brower had a few moments, but Jose seemed a lot faster, and it made Brower look slow and clumsy. I'd imagine you're pleased with No Way Jose and his progress at the wins and one loss. I'm impressed as all get out, and Jose delivered a terrific matchup here against some fairly stacked odds with Bulldog Brower, and he really got the crowd behind him. I guess we'll continue to see more of your latest experiments soon. Fun. Hell yeah, you will. See, I told you guys I knew he would perform. Absolute grace under pressure. I mean, did you see him? He did terrific. Folks, we got a whole lot more coming up, so don't you go away. We'll be back with more Snarl right after this. Next on Snarl, it's found to be a crowd pleaser as the Icon Magic locks it up with Legends Division regular the Junkyard Dog. Ben, I always enjoy seeing JYD in action, whether it's with Coco Beware in a tag or in a singles matchup like this one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 340 pounds, the icon, the legend, Magic. Well, Magic may not be public enemy number one around here, but he has damn sure burned some bridges with some people around here. That is for damn sure. The former world heavyweight, former super heavyweight champion has definitely, you know, he's got clout around here. That is for sure. As far as backstage goes in the locker room, he is definitely one of them people that uh, he, he's a leader back there. The show that this match was delightful in its simplicity. So how's that mean, Pat? And his opponent from Columbus, Georgia, weighing in at 285 pounds, J Y D. Nice plain, delightful in its simplicity within this context, Wally. I get people coming into my office all the time looking for matches, and everybody's got one of three reasons. One, oh, it's a great idea, and it'll sell tickets, and it'll get views. Two, I don't like this guy, and we want to fight. Three, the simplest and my favorite of all, and the ones that both of these guys chose, he said he can kick my ass, and I say I can kick his ass. We want to see who's right. Delightful in its simplicity, Wally. Ah, uh, the sportsman's choice, then. That is the simplest of all with fewest complications. Well, breaking it down, both these men are an even match on paper, but let's see the real-world results. That is why we are here, mi amigos. All right, well, yeah, on paper, this one did look good to me, so let's see how it does work out. Bell sounds, and here we go. JYD gets countered with a headbutt right away by magic. JYD quickly back up. Up over the shoulders goes Magic. But uh, elbows to the side of the head, Magic escapes that situation. And whips the junkyard dog into the far corner and rebounds out. Ouch. All right. 
JYD, slip over that whip, back into that rear headlock, turn Magic down. It is probably a brilliant strategy on the part of the junkyard dog here. Hmm, Magic's still got steam in the engine. That's not a good thing. Oh, man. Okay, junkyard dog. Besides, he's had quite enough of that. Rounds Magic up, and he is a wreck. Look at this, man. Oh, man. Snap DDT right there. JYD. Going for cover. One. Two. two. Oh, hey, wow. Oh, man. Shut up. Magic is something else, ain't he? Huh. He was in to give up the ship here. Oh, man. Wild forearm. And, oh, Junkyard Dog counters that kick. JYD. Rounds Magic up, power bomb, and a pin. Let's see, one, two, three. Jump this one up. The junkyard dog pins this one and wins this one. Here is your winner, JYD. Well, again, this is pro wrestling, not the Pillsbury Bake Off, and these guys do play rough. But in the end, yeah, JYD coming up with one, two, three. Got to feel pretty good about that. Well, here's hoping this settles the dispute between them. The Junkyard Dog seriously opening up on Magic in the late goings and netting himself a pinfall win over the icon. Not a bad day at the office at all. And of course, these fans love seeing JYD come up with this victory. But man, he sure did bust Magic open pretty badly. Hope that doesn't come back to bite him later. Folks, still to come tonight, the lightning fast snarl TV champion, Tony Dangerous, will be facing Rob Van Dam, ladies tag action, with the click, Ashley Renee and Allison Kinsey return from along. Break against Canari Del Coop, and the prototype Gary Galaxy against Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. All of it straight happening in the rest of the first arc tonight. And it's all happening straight ahead after the break. All right, up next it is cruiserweight time, and we got a great cruiserweight match lined up with the prototype Gary Galaxy, managed by Sylvia Strong, facing Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero. Oh man. Gary Galaxy has been on shaky ground since losing the cruiserweight title to Scotty Priest, and he's been working hard to find that winning groove back that carried him successfully through all of last year. But will he find it here against Eddie Guerrero, possibly one of the greatest cruiserweights of all time? Sylvia keeps her wrestlers in a constant state of readiness, and I'm looking forward to all the high-flying craziness 
we're probably gonna get from this one. Well, you guys know I love a good cruiserweight match, and if this ain't a good cruiserweight match, well then I'm not Tex Lynch. Ooh, look at the face on Eddie Guerrero here. As Willie Johnson rings the bell, Gary Galaxy charges. Galaxy from behind gets countered with an elbow from Eddie. Eddie off the rope. Oh, beautiful springboard dropkick from Eddie Guerrero. Immediately going for a cover, but too close to the ropes. Oh, look at this trash-talking Gary Galaxy. Man, Latino Heat lit up from the word go right out of the gate here. Arm breaker from Eddie Guerrero. Rounds Gary up. This right here. Whoa-hoo, Gary Galaxy surprises Eddie from behind. Off the ropes, misses with that Bruce Lee flying kick. Oh, Eddie Guerrero with a neck breaker drop. Gary steps out for a hot minute, but Guerrero, oh, Eddie Guerrero out there, right out there after him. Uh-oh, -uh, look at this. Gary with a hurricane run on the outside. Latino Heat is laid out. Gary Galaxy gathers him up. Guerrero counters. Gary with a Long vertical suplex, but no, Eddie Guerrero tries to counter with a chop block and misses. Gary Galaxy nails him with a German suplex. Up there on the floor, referees count stun play overhand right from Gary Galaxy going to work here on Latino Heat. And, uh, well, the ties have definitely turned because Eddie Guerrero was super aggressive at the start. Now it's Gary Galaxy in big time charge. Oh, big old kick to the head. Oh, look at this from behind with the Cobra Clutch style. And into a cross face. Oh, man. Well, get no tap out off there, Gary. Eddie Guerrero escapes the hold. Latino Heat locks him up. Whips him into the barricade. Oh, man. And that was hard, too. Eddie Guerrero deciding to take it back inside now. And Gary Galaxy right in behind him. Eddie Guerrero over here, Golden Gary Galaxy, not a good idea, look at this, whoa, whoa, what a driver right there. Oh man, Eddie's laid out. Gary, seizing the advantage here, goes for the cover, and here we go, one, two, oh man, two. Eddie Guerrero still very much in the game here, oh man, what a drop kick out of freaking no place, uh. Gary springboards off the ropes, nails him with a kick to the head. Eddie Guerrero takes himself back inside. Connects with a couple of hard shots and a kick and a flip over neck whip here. Oh, man, just grinding the boot into the face of Gary Galaxy. Now the prototype, stunned and dazed, finally comes to, locks it up with Guerrero. Whips him against the ropes. Ducks under. Oh, man, foiled in the drop kick. Eddie Guerrero saw it coming and put it out of the way. Nicely done. Oh, man. Low drop kick to the knee from Gary. Eddie Guerrero getting back to his feet here. Gary Galaxy ruthlessly just kicking him over and over again, man. Wow. The prototype now yanking, tugging on that leg. Rounds up Guerrero. Oh, look at Sylvia Strong. She's feeling it, man. Wow. Okay. Oh, Eddie Guerrero bashing the head of Gary Galaxy into the canvas. Oh, man, here we go. Start raining the hard right hands. For those of you wondering, yes, Sylvia and I are on good terms again. Oh, man. Whoa, right through the first, second and third ropes, right into Gary Galaxy on the outside. Eddie Guerrero locks him up. Oh, man, Gary Galaxy counters him and tosses him towards the barricades. Sylvia Strong getting the hell out of the way here. Eddie Guerrero. Nails him with a shot to the midsection, and Gary Galaxy oh, gets countered with some serious shots to the midsection. Guerrero escapes. Gary Galaxy is stunned. Guerrero back in the ring. Doing a little bit of showing off here for the folks in Hershey. Oh, man. Oh, Eddie's gonna have to go out after Gary. Oh, man, look at this. Whoa. What an arm drag from Eddie Guerrero. Follows it up with a little drop kick right there. Gary locks him up into the barricade, goes Latino Heat. Gary whips him into the barricade a second. Oh, man, he caught him good on that one. Uh. Gary, with an arm breaker on the outside, follows it up with a swift little stomp. Uh. Now the prototype, 
Thrown into a submission on the outside, just a sheer torture, Eddie Guerrero, for no other reason, because that's all he can do. Oh, man, Guerrero escapes, locks him up, pitches Gary across, and onto the floor, right by Sylvia Strong. Eddie Guerrero back in the ring. Gary comes back in. Eddie Guerrero, whoa, did you see that? What a drop kick right there. Oh, misses with the Enziguri. Gary Galaxy connect. Oh, gets countered with a kick to the midsection. Eddie gathers him up. They lock it up. Here we go. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What a brain buster right there. Oh, Eddie Guerrero going top rope. Look like he's going to feel froggy. Oh, man, he nailed it. Here we go. One, two. Oh, man. Gary Galaxy kicking out of the frog splash. Look at Eddie. He can't believe it. Oh, said it'll work once, it'll work again. He's gonna try it one more time. Here we go. Oh, man, he frog splashed the canvas. That doesn't do any good. All right, Gary covers. One, two. Tried to exploit the mistake, but no good. Eddie Guerrero, still very much active. Gary Galaxy locks him up. Here we go, short and sweet suplex. Not a lot of suspense there. Oh, man, running kick. Gary covers. One. Two, three, that is it. Gary Galaxy wins this one by pinfall, and that's an upset. Here is your winner, Gary Sylvia Gary Strong, beating with pride at the prototype double G, with a very impressive win against an extremely aggressive Eddie Guerrero. And that's one more step on the road to redemption for Gary. Galaxy, who will be lurking the champions around here in search of his next title reign? Nice to see Gary's back on the mend with his career. Yes, they're chalking up a win against Eddie freaking Guerrero is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, well, once again, we see it by extension. It's another win for Sylvia Strong and Stronghold, and uh, I guess she's got to be pretty proud of her. But you know what? Despite her foul mile a minute mouth, she is actually very talented as a manager is. We got a lot more coming up, so don't you go away. Summer's here. The Sweet Revenge World Tour is just around the corner, and both Snarl and Rage will be joining forces. For the big summer kickoff, just before Sweet Revenge, it's the Rage and Snarl Combined Super Show, a three-hour WrestleFest, June the 26th, from the birthplace of our WL, the Richmond County Sportsplex in New York City. I'm going to be there, and I hope you're going to be there too. Tonight, ladies triple crown champion Liberty Bell Danielle Heathcote. Now, you've had heated rivalries with Crystal Gabor, Faye Crawford, and the Bell Council girls. But this new situation with the UK ladies seems like the worst of all, with Grace Fennick and Jessica Goldman focusing not on the women's tag titles, but simply on inflicting pain and damage on you and Patty. Power, so what's going on with AP just now? I'm sick to my stomach over this, Wally. You know? AP is doing really well lately, Ben, this entire thing, my fault, and over a stupid off-the-cuff remark online. I never heard of the United Kingdoms, it was all I said, and it set off this Grace Fenwick off on some Karen-style psycho vendetta against us. The malicious intent was obvious in your rematch at Rage. Frustrated that you were being shielded from Grace by Patty Powers, she and Jessica Goldman took a pretty extreme liberty towards the end of that match. Let's have another look at that right here. Whips Patty back into the corner. Uh oh, here comes Grace Fenwick. This is not going to be good. Grace has her up in the tombstone pile driver position here. And a slight tombstone double team. Oh, that is just nasty. Grace goes for the cover. One. Two. Oh, man, Danielle, there to save the day. But that spiked tombstone could have done a lot worse. Patty is gonna be fine and back in the ring like usual. She's tough like that. But Wally? Seeing Pat's hurt so bad when I broke that pen? That was me. I caused that to happen, and it's just driving me wild inside. I wish I could say it so everyone could understand why I'm taking this so hard. We lost. But that's not the issue. Those UK ladies? They're sick. Sicker even than the Bell Council witches. Especially Grace Fenwick. 
You know, she just casually rolled up to threaten me backstage and then has the nerve to want to shake my hand? Who in a sane world does this Wally? So, what to do next here? I've got a message for you, Gracie honey. You wanna hurt me, hun? Wanna hurt me so bad you can taste it, right? You wanna crack the Liberty Bell, is that it? How about you? Me. Nobody ringside, 30 minute submission match. Say yes, sign it for me. I just want you to so bad, Gracie. Thank you, Danielle. More snarl in a minute. This car needs more cruiserweight action, and here it comes. As ECW original, Rob Van Dam faces Snarl TV champ, lightning fast Tony Dangerous, one on one in a non title affair. And here he is, the whole freaking show, Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam. It's been too long. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. RVD has been in an active volcano since he and Sabu lost the ECW tag titles months ago. But Mr. Monday Night, Mr. For 20, is showing signs of seismic activity. Even with no title up for grabs here, Tony Dangerous and Rob Van Dam are going to tear the ring up here tonight on Snarl. Tony, of course, has his own cadre of loyal fans, but a lot of RBD fans in here tonight as well. Look, up in the sky. What sky? I can't see no sky. All I see is a bunch of thick black smoke. <laughs> Kidding aside, she's really putting her neck on the line in a submission match with a card-carrying sadist. Who delights in hurting her? Are you of her groves really gonna sign off on that man? Well, I can't say for sure, but one thing is certain, me and her gonna have something to talk about at the next meeting. Well, guys, it's just hit me how intense this match is going to get between these two. Well, sir, this is going to be a good one. RVD and the lightning fast one, one-on-one, -on -one, cruiserweight action all the way. Here we go. Bell sounds, and here we are. Tony locks it up with RVD. Whips him into the far corner. Oh, RVD ducks out quick. Drives a knee into the back of Tony Dangerous. Whips Tony to the other far corner. And oh, here we go, a hard kick. Elbow to the head, broke that party up, kicked to the midsection, and an ADT from Tony Dangerous. And Tony. Uh oh. -uh. RVD back up to his feet, rounds him up in a second DDT. This time he goes for a cover. One, two. Oh, wow. Okay. Not two that early. I'm impressed. Tony off the rope, shooting star onto the back of Rob Van Dam, slams his head head first into the canvas. Oh, Kick to the gut, rolls him over. RVD back to his feet now. Tony Dangerous still shooting shots at him, and here we go off the ropes. Kick to the head, down goes Rob Van Dam. Oh, the ECW original here. Having his difficulties with the lightning fast Tony Dangerous as he makes his way up to the top rope here. Target sighted, here we go. RVD up to his feet, and here we are. Hurricane Rana, oh wow. Hmm. RVD just getting his butt handed to him at the moment. Oh, Tony covers one. Mm, just the one this time. Oh, man. Rob Van Dam. Got to be wondering what the hell he's got to do here. Oh, man. Beautiful moonsault from Tony Dangerous. Oh, wow. RVD still not responding. Still not answering back. And this ain't good. Tony 
Brown said, well, oh, man, look at this right here. He's got him all packaged up. Oh, slammed him face first. Oh, woof. Tony, oh, finally gets slammed down by RVD. Oh, this is with the off-the-rope moonsault. Tony Dangerous right back on him again. RVD in a lot of pain here as Tony Dangerous sets his sights on Rob Van Dam one more time here. Oh, man, here we go. Another Hurricane Rana for Rob Van Dam. And then off the ropes, another moonsault. Oh, man. Huh. The lightning fast one, the Snarl TV champion on all kinds of fire here. Just handing his, handing Rob Van Dam his butt on a silver platter. Tony Dangerous finally gets countered. Rob Van Dam with a kick to the back and a punch to the back and goes behind. Slams him down onto the mat. Oh, drives a knee into the head of Tony Dangerous. Nails him with a moonsault off the ropes. Rob Van Dam. Finally, back in this thing. Locks up Tony Dangerous. Scores him to the ropes. What are we gonna see here? Oh, man. Oh, that was a nasty hang off the ropes right there. Rob Van Dam. Regains control, goes for a cover. One, two, three. Well, now. Tony Dangerous. Still very active. This one continues. Oh, rolling thunder from Rob Van Dam. Now RVD takes himself up topside and he's fun that way. Oh man, there's a frog splash. Cover. One, two, oh. Tony Dangerous kicks out of the frog splash from Rob Van Dam off the ropes. Another moonsault to the back of Tony Dangerous draws a knee into his back too. And Danielle Heathcote. Looking a little bit nervous here for the Snarl TV champion. She's got all kinds of problems of her own. Rob Van Dam. Rounds him up, hangs him off the ropes again. Heavy hang off the ropes right there. RVD. Trying to regain control of things. Tony Dangerous with a hard slap. Rebounds off the ropes, misses with that kick. RVD off the ropes and counters with a... Oh, man. This one's been crazy. Huh. RVD, look at this. Oh, wow. What a headlock. And then up straight. Huh. There we go. Nice, neat moonsault from Rob Van Dam. The whole freaking show now back in control of things. Whips Tony Dangerous to the corner. Oh, Tony counters the kick, turns him around, puts, puts RVD in the corner. Counter whips him to the opposite corner, rebounds out, and a drop kick that slams him back down again. Woof. Huh. Tony takes himself up to the top rope here. And here we go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful shooting star right there from Tony Dangerous. And look at this. Off the rope. Whoa! Wow. Tony Dangerous goes for the cover. One, two, three. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, yeah, hurry up, ref. That was almost a three right there. Come on, man. Huh. Tony Dangerous has to go topside one more time here. See what happens. Rob Van Dam, oh man, shoots that project down. Drives a knee into the back of Tony Dangerous. Now the lightning fast one on the canvas with RVD going to work. Rob Van Dam takes himself topside. Tony Dangerous slowly getting to his feet. Here we go. Oh, well, kind of overshot the mark there, Rob. Huh. Tony gets caught up from behind. Rob Van Dam has Tony up over the shoulders. Hangs him off the ropes in a more conventional style this time. And then another beautiful shooting star. It's hard to keep up with these guys. RVD, one, two. Oh, man. Tony Dangerous refusing to quit here. Slams RVD face first into the mat. The Snarl TV champion. Turning the tides one more time with a super kick. RVD laid out flat. Tony up on the top rope. Look at this. Oh, caught a couple of knees from Rob Van Dam. Great ring awareness from RVD. Rob Van Dam slams Tony Dangerous down. With a nice suplex. And now Rob Van Dam. Probably going for the five star. There it is. Oh, no five star for you, RVD. Caught a couple of knees from Tony Dangerous. Uh oh, he's got him up in that little package drop again. Boom. Oh, wow. Huh. Tony Dangerous, back in control.
control in this seesaw match with these two cruiserweights, and it has been nuts so far. There we go again. Whoa, man, did you see that one? Beautiful spinning move off the top rope. High-risk maneuver. He's going to try it one more time. Let's see what we get here. Turns himself around. Whoa, man. Tony Dangerous, flying like the true superhero that he is. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. One, two, three. Oh, Whoa, come on, man. These are, oh, what is with these counts on these refs, man? Hmm. Tony, up on the top rope. Oh, whoa, 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 what a hurricane running we had there. Oh, Rob Van Dam's all messed up. Tony, one more time off the top. Oh, caught a couple of more knees from Rob Van Dam. Hmm, maybe we should not have tried that no more. Jawjacker from RVD takes Tony down. Now, RVD, oh, gets caught up, Tony Dangerous, goes behind, get this right here, whoa, kicked him in the head, I don't even see how it happened, cover, whoa, oh, RVD, again, that ring awareness, hand on the rope, Tony Dangerous is like, are you kidding me, come on, well, don't do it so damn close to the rope next time, oh, hard forearm, oh, looks like Tony might be getting a little bit frustrated, Tony Dangerous locks Rob Van Dam up. Rob Van Dam counters with a shot to the ribs and a kick and a clothesline. Now the whole freaking show starting to fire up here. Oh, super kick from Rob Van Dam. Off the ropes, another beautiful shooting star. Goes for the cover. One, two, oh, oh, shut up. Oh, man, everybody hates this referee at this point. Rob Van Dam, one more time topside. Waiting for Tony Dangerous here. Oh, this might not be good. Here we go. Oh, well, well now. He may need to go to the optometrist. Oh, phew. Tony Dangerous caught up. Oh, look at that. Flipped out of it. RVD comes with an elbow. Tony Dangerous kicked to the midsection. Oh, another DDT. Now Tony stalking him. Catches him. Kicks another midsection. Another DDT. And again, here we go. Tony Dangerous off the top rope. Beautiful spinning slap right there. Covers, hooks the leg. One, two, three. Oh, whoa. Oh, man, a little too many near falls in this bad boy. Huh. Tony Dangerous. Top side. One more time here. Beautiful spinning. He caught the sense on that time. Covers him. One, two, three. Oh, man. This match has been insane. Oh, Tony Dangerous. Wondering what on earth he's got to do. Oh, look at Paul. Oh, Tony misses that one, and RVD right back on him. Wow, this match has been wild. Slammed head first by Rob Van Dam. Here comes the rolling thunder, but oh, caught a couple of knees instead. Tony Dangerous. Oh, man, what a neck breaker he got there. Oh, Tony Dangerous. Once more, onto the breach here, top rope. Probably hoping this will be it. Here we go, Hurricane Rana. Oh, man, stunned Rob Van Dam, but good. Oh, man, shooting star off the ropes. Tony covers one more time here. One, two, three. That is officially, finally, it. Tony Dangerous finally picks this one up. Super in this super match with Rob Van Dam. Looking sharp ahead of his title defense coming up at the super card on the 26th, and that's a whole lot of super in one sentence. That's off to the lightning fast one, Tony Dangerous, on an impressive win over Rob Van Dam. I'm just blown away. Wow, what a match. Huh. Anyways, we got one more match to close out our one. It's a ladies' tag match. It's going to be awesome, and we'll be back with that right after the break. Closing out the first hour with a ladies tag match, and we're gonna see the click. Ashley Renee and Allison Kinsey back with us after like an entire year away, going up against Kanari Doku, Pretty Poison. Scheduled for one.
one fall. On the way to the ring, Ashley Reynolds and Alice and Ken Z. The Click. Click's last match was a year ago, a six woman with Next Gen. And since then, Ashley and Allison and their number three Amy, this trio of friends since childhood, have been off the radar. But they're back on the very crowded ladies tag team scene tonight and not likely to be warmly received by Pretty Poison. As far as sultry ring entrances go, they're already giving Hosekai Motoda and Thea Suzuki a run for their money. The Click's certainly trying to raise the temperature here in Hershey to melt all the chocolate in town. We remind you again, fans, Ashley and Allison are just friends. Solid Ladies Tag Contest. See what the crowd sure likes, Canary Doku, don't they? <laughs> well, the click back with us after an entire year. This is going to be good. Here we go, bell rings. Ashley Renee starting us off, locks us up with Hosakai Matoda. Hosakai, got her in the corner here. And that's it. They're going to break that one up. Ashley, locks up with her again into a headlock right away. Oh, it's old, cinching up on that headlock pretty good, but uh, look at this, Osaka Matoda. Shoves Ashley to the ropes. Whoa! Man, reverse Hurricane Rana, nicely done. Oh, okay, yeah, again, Kanari Doku with that amazing Japanese styling of theirs. Ashley, whips Osaka into the corner. She rebounds out, follows it up with an elbow, gets an arm drag from Ashley. Osaka whips Ashley to the corner. She rebounds out and gets her head slammed into the canvas. Ashley Renee and Allison Kinsey. Best friends since childhood, and they have been a tag team for as long as folks can remember. Huh. Pretty Poison. Currently in control as Ashley Renee starts to try and change the plans here. Whips Osaka into her corner, her team's corner. Osaka escapes with a fireman's carry. Ashley up, on a hard elbow. Whipped me. Pretty poison corner. Look at this monkey flip out of the corner from Osaka and Toda. Mm, pretty poison, pretty popular here. Ashley tags out. In comes Allison Kinsey with a drop kick. Oh, swings and misses. Osaka running bulldog. Ashley Renee out on the floor. Allison Kinsey sweeps the leg. Oh, what a hard forearm right there. It took Hosekai down to the mat. Hosekai responds by pushing her away. Rounds Allison Kinsey back up. Has her up spine buster. Short and quick. Nicely done. Ashley Renee comes to, gets herself back to her tag corner. Al Allison Kinsey whipped to Pretty Poison's corner. And here we go. Oh, all right. Here we go, Tia Suzuki. Watching this one pretty. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Also got Matoda getting all fancy over here. Hmm. Allison Kinsey trying to drag her way back to her corner. Oh, misses. Allison tags in Ashley Renee. Also got Matoda. Matoda gets turned around. Uh, suplex. Ashley Renee. Ashley is countered with a dragon screw. Matoda. Ashley. And whipped 
into the corner. Mm. Listen, Kamatota staring into the eyes of Ashley Renee. Perhaps a little too long. Ashley whips her into the corner. Oh, man, that's going to hurt your butt. Oh. What a rat, Will. Snap suplex. Ashley goes for a cover. One. Only one. Real short one, too. Kick to the back for Osaka Matuda. Osakai counters with a jaw jacker. Whips Ashley into her corner. Mm. Didn't stare at her too long this time. Ashley whips Osakai into her corner. And here comes Allison Kinsey on the tag. With this double knees to the back. Allison Kinsey with a beautiful arm drag. Osakai lines up the arm, snaps it. Oh, Allison counters with an elbow. Allison whips Osakai to the rope. Spinning kick here. Beautiful. Allison. Going to work on Osakai. So to look at this. A reversal into a pin. Pretty cool. One, two. Oh, man. Yeah, pretty poison. He has surprised us a number of times. Allison whips Osakai into her corner. Oh, and here we go. There's going to be a parade. And Osaka Matoda is going to be the rope. Mm -hmm. Here comes the marching band. Mm, look at this. Here come the clowns on the float. Mm, and here come the balloons. Sling and a whole drop kick. Oh, Osaka Matoda is going to have funny friends all over her. Ashley Renee goes for the cover. One, two, oh. There goes Allison. Ashley takes out Tia Suzuki as well. Kick to the gut from Osaka Matoda. Referee still out to lunch here as the girls tussles. Osaka shoves her waist and misses with the chop. Ashley Renee whips Osaka into the corner. She rebounds out painfully, stomped to the back of the head. Ashley Renee ranking on the head and neck of Osaka Matoda. Mm, this one's gone back and forth quite a bit. Look at this, Ashley Renee. Just playing that arrogance. Uh huh. Whoa! Nice arm drag. Well, Osaka. Whoa! Hard shot to the midsection. Oh, man. Oh, she got messed up. Look at this. Ashley Renee lines it up with an arm breaker. Follows it up with a hard kick to the back. Osaka and Toda hit all kinds of trouble. Notice with that arm drag. One more time. This is with a kick. Whips Ashley to the corner. Osaka Matoda gets countered, gets a hard shot, gets another hard shot. Oh man, Osaka down on one knee here. Oh, another devastating kick to the midsection as Ashley winds it up and oh, what a drop kick goes for the cover here. One, two, oh, three, oh man, narrow win. Did you see how that worked out? Here are your winners, Ashley Reynolds. with a narrow win all right, with Allison Kinsey taking one for the team to prevent Suzuki from foiling the pin attempt. And hey, I guess that's what best friends do. Terrific win for Ashley and Allison. Nice to see them back. And let's hope it's not another whole year before they come back. Ashley Renee and Allison Kinsey swipe one from Pretty Poison the hard way. Serious dedication on the part of Allison. Imagine if they really set their minds on climbing the ladies tag ladder or maybe the ladies tag trio belts with number three aiming. I know I won't mind seeing the click on the regular again. Fans and fam, that concludes the first part of tonight's card, with the second are coming up immediately following a short pause. And we sure hope you'll rejoin us for that. Who's it gonna be? Another 60 minutes of RWL-style excitement you're not gonna wanna miss. Part two, after the break, 